Bada boom, bada boom. How y'all doing? So welcome back to the JDW Sports Talk Show, where every fans welcome. In today's episode, we're going to be going through the Atlanta Falcons schedule, giving my overall thoughts on who they're going to beat, who they're going to lose to, just my opinion on how they're going to do this season. You know, I think they have a really good offense, but, you know, their defense is lacking a little bit, but they definitely do have some playmakers on defense. I really like A.J. Terrell. I really like Deion Jones. I really like Grady Jarrett. Um, you know, I like a few pieces on this Atlanta team. We just got to see them come together. And, you know, the loss of Julio kind of sucks, but, you know, because a long time Falcon now gone kind of sucks. But, you know, they have other guys that I think could step up. So let's get into it. So let me know down below what you think the record, their record is going to be. So week one at home versus the Philadelphia Eagles, this could be a game that they lose week one. You know, the Philadelphia Eagles have a really good defensive line. And that's the thing with them. Teams that have really good offensive lines, or at least, you know, average offensive lines can um, slow down the Eagles' front, and that could be a difference. But not a big fan of this Atlanta's offensive line. And, you know, if this Philly front could get to Matt Ryan, can't, you know, struggles to move, but, you know, maybe they can get, you know, a short passing game going, maybe they dink and dunk. But I think big play of Slay is going to get the job done on maybe Ridley or something. I think I think big play is solid. Um you know, I, I think that this uh I I think that the Eagles my my gut feeling is telling me to go with the Eagles week one over the Atlanta Falcons. Oh, uh, all right. All right, I'm gonna go with the Eagles. I'm gonna go with the Eagles. Week two at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Um, you know, this could be a wild card of a game. You know, but similar to the Eagles, they have really good defensive front and then everything else they basically have that the Eagles don't have other than the defensive line so I'm going to take Tampa Bay week three at the New York Giants I'm going to give the Atlanta Falcons the win here I think um you know I think that you know that the New York Giants offense is going to struggle a little bit in the beginning yeah maybe Barkley could run a little bit but how is Daniel Jones going to fare you know how he's going to do against below average defenses you know this Atlanta defense at times last year was you know, a good defense at times, but they're also a really bad defense at times. So, you know, they're kind of inconsistent. So if that defense could stay more consistent, this Atlanta team might be, you know, really sneaky. So especially what, you know, you know, they did add Kyle Pitts as well. So I kind of think that adding Kyle Pitts was their plan all along because, you know, the Julio Jones talks kind of started before the draft. So, you know, like, like small talk, not big talk, but, you know, I, I think that was their plan the whole while. I think they're planning on Kyle. I think they're planning on putting Kyle Pitts at wide receiver because I think they're going to keep Hayden Hurst at tight end. But you never know. Maybe they will. You know they can play him everywhere. It doesn't matter. But I'm gonna I'm gonna take the Falcons week three at the New York Jets. Week four at home versus the Washington Football Team. Um, I'm gonna take the Washington Football Team. I I think that this Washington Football Team defense defense alone is going to give this Atlanta team some struggles. Um, you know, the New York Giants and the Washington football team, you know, their defenses are very different. You know, the Washington football team is an amazing pass rush. But, you know, they have decent corners. But the Giants have a decent pass rush, but amazing corners. Depending on health and who's healthy. But, man, um, yeah, I'm going to take Washington in this one. Um, I think they struggle versus a team with the defensive line. You know, I think they can beat teams that, you know, don't have as crazy of a, def- as a, d- as a defensive line, of course. They could beat anyone. But but realistically, I think they're going to lose to Washington. I think that defense line gets to Matt Ryan too much. Um, I think that offense scores just enough. A Washington football team, Ryan Fitz, Terry McLaurin, Antonio Gibson, you get it. Diami Brown, you get it. They have a lot of people. They're a talented team. Week 5 at home versus the New York Jets. Um, I'm going to give the Falcons a win here over the Jets. I think that that Jets offense is going to, click a little bit in this game. I think that this Jets defense is going to have one of those games against Zach Wilson. I'm taking the Atlanta Falcons versus the New York Jets. Week week six, bye week, week seven at the Miami Dolphins. Um, This is going to be a heck of a game, man. You know, pure offense versus pure defense. Um, You know, the Atlanta Falcons offense is really nice. And, you know, depending on Xavier Howard plays, if he plays – um. You know, this is going to be a much more difficult game for the Falcons. If not, then guys like, you know, Russell Gage, you know, maybe even Kyle Pitts if he lines up at receiver, they're going to have the Dolphins' second, third corners on them. So, you know, 
Oh, I'm going to go back and forth to this game because both teams have, you know, I know Atlanta signed Mike Davis for running back. Um, both, I'm not a huge fan of either offensive line. Um, I do like Matt Ryan more. Um, I'm going to go with the Atlanta Falcons here in week seven over the Miami Dolphins. I think that I I think that offense is um is is what the difference is there. I you know if Tua shows out with all those weapons, maybe I will take them. But I'm gonna take a landing here. Week eight at home versus the Carolina Panthers. Um, I think that that Atlanta could split with Carolina. Um, it's a divisional matchup. Um, but I'm taking Atlanta at home here. I think Atlanta is gonna be um. I think Atlanta's going to beat Carolina first time around. You know, they, you know, Carolina has good weapons. Um, how is Sam Darnold going to do? Is Sam Darnold still going to be struggling by now? We don't know. Um, I'm going to take Atlanta here. And I'm, in, you know, Carolina's defense is a decent defense. Um, you know, at times they're going to look, they're going to look like a really good defense. And then other times they're, you know, they're going to, they're going to struggle. So I'm taking Atlanta over Carolina first matchup. Week nine at the New Orleans Saints. Um, this is going to be a really good division matchup as well. A really good division um, matchup going between Atlanta and, and New Orleans. It could be like a complete shootout. You know, Jameis Winston plays really good. If, you know, I think Taysom Hill is going to come in packages once in a while for, for, for New Orleans. Um, you know, this is a really similar matchup, if you ask me. You know, I do like New Orleans running back and offensive line more. Um, so I think that's going to be a difference. In one of the games, but this one, it it is in New Orleans. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna take the Saints at home over the Falcons. Okay, and then we have Week Ten at the Dallas Cowboys. Um, I'm gonna take the Dallas Cowboys in this one. I think this is gonna be a shootout as well. It's gonna be a fun game, but I think the Dallas Cowboys have a better offense, a more dynamic offense. I think they can run a little better. I think their offense line is a little better if healthy. Um, I think they're I think they have a deeper wide receiver core. I'm just a huge fan of this Dallas Cowboys offense. Um, the defense, on the other hand, I'm not a huge fan, but you know it, that defense has a lot of potential. If it fulfills some of that potential, you know, th- throughout the season, I think this defense can be, you know, I think this Dallas Cowboys team is going to be a powerhouse. Um, I'm thinking of the Dallas Cowboys in Week Ten, Week Eleven at home versus versus the New England Patriots. Man, another fun game, another fun game. Um, you know, New England has you know a really good darn defense. Offense, we don't know yet. You know, they have they signed a few people. Mac Jones, um No, I mean they drafted Mac Jones and then they signed like Nelson Aguilar, Kendrick Bourne, John Smith, Hunter Henry. Something's telling me about that Bill Belichick is gonna want to pound the ball. But he got those tight ends and those two deep threats and Bourne and Aguilar to you know, play the middle of the field a lot. I think that's what he wants to do. I, I think he wants to make the throws easier on these quarterbacks, whether it's Newton or Mac Jones. I think he wants to make this make throwing a lot easier. I think he wants to make the game a lot easier for whoever it is, and that's a you know that, that's a goal of a coach to make the game as easy as possible on the players and put them in the best position possible to win. So, um, the Falcons, you know, I think they might struggle versus the Patriots defense a little bit. Um, you know, the corners are good. Defensive line is decent. Linebackers are decent. Safeties are er, decent. So the offense is gonna is a question, but I think that this is a game where they run the ball and they really show their dominance of running the ball. And I think they and I think the New England Patriots beat the Atlanta Falcons in Week Eleven, Week Twelve at the Jacksonville Jaguars. Um, you know the Jaguars are a team that I've done a lot of research on more than some other teams. I'm of course, but. Because I'm really excited to see what um, Trevor Lawrence may do. And, you know, with the likes of so, so, some of the players that they drafted and signed, this offense can be lethal. They're going to be able to run the ball. Um, and I think that defense is decent as well. So, you know what? I'm going to take Jacksonville over Atlanta here. And then week 13 at home versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I'm going to take Tampa Bay in this game. Um, you know, Tampa Bay is a really good team, a really solid team. It's gonna be hard to beat Tampa Bay. I don't care who you are. Um, I can I can maybe see Atlanta pulling out pulling pulling out an upset versus Tampa Bay though. You know maybe maybe they play that small ball. Maybe Great Jarrett. Maybe Dante Fowler. Maybe they get to Brady a little bit. You know maybe they 
piss Brady off like the Bears did, like um, you know, a few teams did last year, like the Saints did, of course. So, you know, this is a really fun matchup. I think that the I think that the Falcons can pull out a game versus Tampa Bay, but will they? I don't know. Week 14 at the Carolina Panthers. Um, I'm gonna take the Falcons to sweep the Panthers. Um, you know, I'm just not a big fan of this Panthers um offense with Sam Donald at the helm. I'd rather Teddy Bridgewater, if you ask me. Um, now that Sam Donald does have, you know, some weapons, a different system, a new scenery, a change of scenery. Maybe he will be decent, but it, to be honest with you, I'm not a Sam Donald fan at all. Even now that he's not with the Jets, I'm not a fan of him at all. I'm I'm just not. I'm taking I'm taking Atlanta to sweep Carolina. Week 15 at the San Francisco 49ers. I'm going to take San Fran in this game. I think that that defensive line is going to get to Matt Ryan. I think that those corners are going to do just enough. I think that, you know, Kyle Shanahan is going to have his team ready. You know, I think that team is going to do really good. And I think that offense is going to do just fine. I'm taking San Fran. Week six, week 16 at home versus Atlanta Falcons, or at home versus the Detroit Lions. I'm taking the Atlanta Falcons versus Detroit. I think that offense is going to score just fine. Um, maybe the Lions do find some success on offense there against the Falcons. Maybe Jared Goff is, one on, is on one of his – good um stretches but maybe Detroit pulls it out but I don't think so. Week seventeen at the Buffalo Bills. I'm gonna take the Buffalo Bills in this one. Um you know I just think Josh Allen is gonna be able to outscore um Atlanta and Matt R- I mean Matt Ryan and you know Ridley. Yeah, I yeah I think Buffalo's gonna win this game, you know. I do think Atlanta could be um a sneaky good team but I, but I think Buffalo's going to take this one away in Buffalo. Week 18, they're at home versus the New Orleans Saints. Um, I'm going to take the Falcons the second time around. I think these two, I, I think these teams splits. I think they're very similar teams. Um, maybe, maybe the Saints offense, you know, you know, no, these teams are very similar, man. You know, defenses are hit or miss. The offenses are going to be decent. They do have some weapons, but I think the Atlanta, I think the Atlanta offense is going to be a little better, but. You know, I think the Saints will be able to run a little better, and I think the Falcons will be able to pass a little better, and, and I think the Falcons are, are going to get the best one the second time around. So that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you for tuning in to the JDW Sports Talk Show. So, you know, the record I kind of have them going as, you know, how I have them doing. I have them losing to the Eagles, losing to Tampa Bay, um, beating New York, the Giants, or well, beating both New York teams and the Giants and Jets, losing to Washington beating Miami, sweeping Carolina, losing to the Saints, losing to Dallas, losing to New England, Jacksonville, Tampa Bay again. Um, 14 at Carolina. I have them sweeping Carolina. Like I said, I have San Fran beating them. I have them beating Detroit and New Orleans. So, you know, I have them doing pretty decent. So, eh, maybe not decent, <laughs> but like may- maybe below average, you know. Maybe seven wins, eight wins. That's how I have them going. I I think that's fair. I think that's a fair prediction for the Falcons. Um, I just think they need to work on that defense and that offense line a little bit, and maybe find a running back. I mean, I do like Mike Davis, but you know, is he going to be able to carry the load? He did in Carolina for a few weeks last year, so maybe he could. But only time will tell. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And as always, I'll catch you guys next time.